for joining us. Have a sit down. Have a seat. Welcome to the show. Wow, you all are on fire. Oh my it's really early for all this energy. Oh my goodness. Oh, ow, yes. <laughs> First of all, thank you for joining wherever you are. We are live. This is our first live show of the week. I spent the weekend in North Carolina giving a graduation speech. Oh, boy. I was at North Carolina A&T State University in Greensboro. What an honor to give their commencement speech. Chancellor Harold Lee Martin Sr. It was just such an epic experience. First of all, the school is so big. It is the largest HBCU in the country. And it's so big, they had two commencements. So they had the morning, which was packed, this whole arena, and then we took a little lunch break, and they had a second. So when I got invited, they said commencement speech. And I don't write speeches, I just kind of ad-lib, much like I do the show. And <laughs> then I looked, I said, I have to do this twice? They were like, yeah. I'm like, well, I can't memorize again, so I just have to wing it. Thank you to the beautiful class of 2024 who celebrated the words that I had to offer. I was so, I didn't realize how nervous, I do this show, and y'all are my TAM fam. I mean, so I'm used to this. But I was, oh, I was so nervous, but thank you so much. What a beautiful, oh, thank you so much. So we had a great time. Shout out to the class of 2024 because this is a pandemic class. A lot of them didn't have high school graduations and they started college during a global pandemic and they showed resilience, sticking it through to the end. So we're proud of all of our 2024 grads out there and your families. Okay. Today's show, it's about TikTok stars. Full disclosure, last night I was just reeling through TikTok because that's what I do because I can't sleep anymore. So uh, remember Risa Tisa? She gave us the exclusive interview, went viral, 50-part series about her ex-husband. She joined us on the show. So when actress Danielle Pinnock from the hit show Ghost came on, she said her dream was to meet Risa Tisa and maybe even play her in a movie. I'm on TikTok last night. They met up! Danielle and Risa have met up. Look, she said, Risa Tisa's a joy personified. Look, she said they had caviar and crab cakes. I want to be at that party. I can't wait to see. Maybe they're teaming up for something. Ladies, you're going to have to come on and announce it on the show. As I said, today's show is about TikTok, and it is, of course, a huge debate. I mean, I'm a news journalist, so I cannot ignore the facts of the headlines. Last month, for example, the president signed legislation that could actually ban the Chinese platform, Chinese-owned platform, calling it a national security. Right now, though, for certain, TikTok is here. We don't know if it's going to be banned. All of that is playing out. The fact remains, though, TikTok, in its seven short years, has exploded into a cultural phenomenon. TikTok creator is something now in our lingo. You don't believe me? Check it out. How much do you pay for rent in New York? $350. $350? Can I have a tour of your apartment? Since TikTok launched in September of 2016, it's quickly become the most downloaded app in the world. I'm ready to get slaughtered in the comments when I tell you guys that I haven't washed my hair in a week. Now valued at up to $100 billion, TikTok has launched everyday people into stardom. Tonight we are having taco tater tot casserole. This is it. I love how easy this look is to achieve and you can too in just three steps. From beauty talk to food talk to pet talk, there's seemingly a video for every talk. <laughs> the latest trend, which has over 200 million views, has couples sharing their attempts at painting portraits of each other with often hilarious results. Okay, your turn. and brightest creators on TikTok. 